hi guys welcome back to another video of easy tutorials today in this video we will learn how to make a website header section with gif background and we will make this web design using only html and css so let's start this video here i have this folder and in this folder you can see i have one index.html file and one style.css file and one logo now i will open these files with my code editor which is visual studio code so this is the HTML file where I have added basic HTML structures and this one is the CSS file. Here I have added link tag to connect the HTML and CSS file. Next we will add the code in the body tag that will be displayed on our web page. So first let's add a div with the class name hero. Now in this one we will add some CSS properties. So just copy this class name write it here in this CSS file and here let's add min height it will be 100 vh after that we will add width so the width will be 100 percent next we will add the background color so let's add the background color it will be black triple zero after that come to the html file and open this html file with web browser i will open with live server so it will open with my default web browser which is google chrome so right now you can see this web page is completely black because we have added background color black next let's come back here we will add background image so let's add the background image url and in this url we will add a gif url so you will get this link in the video description you can see i have added gif direct link source and the creator so i will put this link you can just copy from the video description and add it here after that we will add background position it will be center then background repeat it will be no repeat it should not repeat and next we will add the background size let's add 70 percent and after that we will add color so that all text inside this div will be white let's add some padding also zero from top and bottom and eight percent from left and right side after adding this you can see a gif image on this web page and the rest of the web page is black next we will add the navigation bar where we will add a logo and navigation menu so let's come back and come to the html file here we will add one nav tag in this nav first we will add one logo so i am using image tag which is img write the image file path logo.png you will find the logo image in the video description here let's add a class name logo after that we will add navigation menu link here we will add ul li and in this li we will add a tag which is a link tag so here we will add the link text it will be home let's duplicate it and we will change the text it will be about the next one is contact and the last one portfolio after adding this come to the web page again and you can see this logo and these menu now we have to add the css properties for this one so let's come back and copy this nav tag write it here in this css file here we will add display flex align items center and justify content space between now you can see this logo in the left side and this menu link in the right side let's come back and here we have the logo so for this logo we will set the width so let's add the width of 160 pixel 
so the logo size is perfect next we will add the css for this one which is menu link let's come back and you can see in this nav we have the ul li so write it here ul li and for this list let's add display it will be inline block list style will be none and we will add margin so let's add the margin of 10 pixel from top and bottom and 30 pixel from left side and right side it is looking like this next we have to add the css for the a tag so that we can change the color and we can remove this underline let's come back and copy this one and in this list we have the a tag so for this a tag we will add color it will be white then we will add the text decoration none so it will remove the underline next we have to add some space from the top so let's come back to the nav tag here it is and here let's add some padding so let's add padding of 20 pixel from top and bottom and 0 from left and right side now this navigation bar is fine after closing of this nav tag let's add some space and here we will add one text in h1 it will be a title so i have added this text after that we will add one button also so let's add a button tag and in this button we will add type it will be button and let's add the button text it will be explore the life now you can see this text and this button so let's add the css for this h1 tag and this button let's come back to the css file here we will add the parent class name which is hero and let's add h1 for this h1 we have to increase the font size so i will add the font size of 75 pixel then we will add some space from top so we will add margin top let's add 12 percent now you can see the increased font size for this title next we will add a line break after this word which is magical and the planet will come in the next line for that here we will add a br tag at this place let's add br like this after adding this you can see this text is displaying in two lines next we have to add the css for this button just come back here we will add this class name then write button for this button we will add the background so in this background we will add this color code then we will add border so the border will be zero and outline will be none then we will add some space inside the button so we will add padding and in this padding let's add 15 pixel from top and bottom and 35 pixel from left side and right side after that we will add color it will be white now it is looking like this next we have to add some space from top also and we will add some letter spacing so let's add margin top of 25 pixel then font weight 500 letter spacing 1 pixel and cursor pointer now this button is looking good after making this button we will add three dots just below this button so let's come back here after this button let's add a div and 
add a class name so let's add a class name indicator in this indicator we will add three span like this just copy this indicator write it here and in this one we have a span so write the span tag and here let's add the css properties so first we will add display it will be inline block then we will add the background in this background we will add a color code which is this one then let's add the height height will be 15 pixel and width also 15 pixel then border radius it will be 50% so that it will be a circle it will be border radius like this now you can see three dots here we have to add some space between these dots so let's add margin margin right of 10 pixel let's copy this one and here we will add margin from the top so let's add margin top of 150 pixel so this dot is here next we have to change the background color of the last one so let's come back here in the last one we will add one class name active like this come back here copy this one then write dot active background and background color code so it will be this one so you can see the changed color in the last dot now we will add some call to action message and button on the right bottom so let's come back here after closing of this indicator div we will add another div so let's add a div with the class name call to action or let's say cta in this one we will add one text in p tag so this is the text and after that we will add one button and the button text check out mars now you can see this text and this button at the bottom in left side so we have to move it on the right side so let's come back and copy this class name cta write it here for this one we will add position so the position will be absolute then let's add width it will be 25 percent then we will add min width to 50 pixel let's add right 8 percent and bottom 100 pixel now you can see this text on perfect position next we have to add one arrow in this button so to get an arrow code just come to the google and search for arrow html code open this website here you can find different hex code for different icons so i will use this one where it is this one let's copy this and add it here here i have added this hex code now you can see one arrow in this button so we have completed this website header with gif background i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section and please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video